In this section, we're going to look at paragraph formatting. So again, I'm going to use that little trick for generating some random paragraphs. So I type this in, so it equals rand open brackets, eight comma five close brackets. And if I go there at the end and press return, that translates into some sample paragraphs. So we can use these just to experiment a bit. Now, before we actually start looking at uh, paragraphs, let's go and click on this little symbol up here that says show or hide. And you can see this shows our paragraph mark. So this item here, if I double click here, that is a paragraph. It starts here and it ends there. So the definition of a paragraph is basically it's the text between, say, here and the end of paragraph marker, which is there. So normally you don't see those, but if you want to see your paragraph markers, you click here. So you can see at the end of each paragraph, there is this paragraph marker, which is a hidden text within Microsoft Word or a hidden character, if you like. So I'll turn that off for the time being. Now, if you want to apply paragraph formatting, these are the sort of things that we're talking about. So remember on the Home tab here, in the Paragraph section, you've got various things here. So you've got things like bullets and numbering. Over here, you've got indents, so you can increase or decrease the indent. Uh, you've got alignment options here. Over here, we've got line and paragraph spacing options. And then we've got other things like um, shading and borders and that, which you can apply to your paragraphs. So if I click within this first paragraph, so I don't have to select it, I just click within the paragraph. If I want to apply alignment options to that, I can go up here, you can see it's aligned by default to the left. If I want to center it, I click here. Align to the right, I click there. And this one here won't actually do anything in this case, it just says um, justify. If you want to see what justify does, let's click on this paragraph here and I'll try centering, centering that, looks like so. Align to the right, it looks like so. And what Justify does, I don't know if you can see that, it makes it all line up, a bit like sort of newspaper columns. So by default, a paragraph would look like that. If you want to apply um, justification to the entire paragraph, you click in the paragraph, click on here that says Justify, and then it's all lined up on this edge and also this edge here. So that's what just, Justification does. I say normally you just simply align maybe to the left or you would center something like that. Now let's say you want to indent a paragraph. I'll click within this paragraph here, the second large paragraph. And if I move up to here where it says indent, I can click on that and it indents. If I click again, it indents again and again and again and again. And if I click on this other one, which is decrease indent, so I'll click once, twice, three, four, five, it's back where it was. So now you've seen how to align and also how to indent. Now within this second paragraph here, what I can do is click within it, and then I can click here on this dialog box launcher, which will display the paragraph dialog box. And if you look at indent here, as well as just having the simple indents that we've had, what I can do is I can say indent maybe just the first line, click on OK, and then the first line indents. If I click on Undo, if I go back and then click on the dialog box launcher for the paragraph settings here, I've got other special sorts of indents. So for instance, I can have a hanging indent, and that gives you an idea of what it's going to look like in the preview, and that will look like that. So I'll do that for the second paragraph as well, just so you can see. So I sorry, the third paragraph. I'll just click within it, I'll click on the dialog box launcher here, and if I want that to be a hanging indent, I would uh, click here, click on OK, and that's also now a hanging indent. And I say, if you don't like those, you can always undo and undo, so you can always undo what you've done. So that's how you produce something like a hanging indent for a paragraph. Now, if I want to, I can change the, uh, the line spacing within a paragraph. So in this first paragraph, I'll just simply click here, and then I'll click here, and I'm not going to click on any of these items. Notice what happens if I, so if I just move over 1.0, it looks like that. 1.15 looks like that. 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3. So that's how you change the spacing of the lines within your paragraph. So let's say you wanted 
uh, double spacing, you just click there, and as you can see, this entire paragraph here has double line spacing within it. Um, it's quite useful if you want to draw attention to things, maybe in a legal document. I'll click on the undo here, just so we go back to where I was. So what you've seen there is how to adjust the line spacing of the lines within a paragraph. So next we'll look at applying spacing above or below a paragraph. So I'm going to cl click within this paragraph here. I won't select it, I'm just selected to show you which one I'm talking about. So I'll click within here. If I go to the paragraph dialog box launcher here, what I can do is I can increase the spacing before and after this paragraph. So let's change this to sort of 18 points and you get a preview of what's going on here. And also after we'll change it to 18. And if I click on OK, you can see what happens. Extra space has been inserted before and after. Let me do that again. So I'll put it back the way it was. I'll click within here. I'll click on the paragraph dialog box launcher. And from there, I'm going to change the spacing before and after. So I'll go for a really large one, 72 points before and 72 points after. So you can see that dramatic effect there, before and after spacing. Again, if you don't want that, you can always click on the undo key. Right, something else you can do is you can apply bullet or numbering formatting. So in this case, if I select these numbers here, if I want to make these into bulleted points, I just simply select them like so, move up to the paragraph um, box here, or the paragraph group, click on where it says uh, bullets, and there's bullet points. If I want numbering, I click there. So bullets, numbering. If I go back to bullets, you can, if you want, uh, format this. So if I click on the down arrow here, I can select different types of bullets. So instead of that boring bullet there, how about maybe square bullets look, will look like that, or maybe ticks, or maybe this symbol, or that one. That's quite nice, let's go for that one. I'll click on this, and there you go. So instead of having the boring sort of bullets that uh, we originally saw, which looked like that, I could have gone to uh, the down arrow here next to where it says bullets and select something else, maybe that one there. In the same way with numbering, if I click on numbering here, if I click on the down arrow, instead of simple numbering like that, I can have sort of the Roman numerals or ABC or whatever. So I'll go for ABC and look now looks like that. If you want to change that back to uh, bullets, there you go. If you want it for numbering, looks like that. And if you want to use the default numbering, you just go to this one here, and there it is back as it was.